Hey guys and gals, this is Alex with Exchange Commercial Real Estate coming to you every single week with the Multifamily Minute. Up first, we take a look at Zillow. So Zillow is actually powered by MLS. This is everything new, multifamily, 500K and above. It's new on, on the market here this week of January 29th, 2024. Uh, so again, this is a trend we see. There's nothing really new on the market that's available. Um, this listing here, or this screen actually shows there's two different listings here. One is 35 new homes down south in uh, the Olathe area. Um, and then another one, which is $915,000 up kind of north, closer to um, the airport-ish, Gladstone, Feral View area. Uh, and actually, neither one of these are new. This one is a new home construction, which uh, is not typically something that we promote or go after. And then this other one here we've actually talked about before. This is a duplex. You can see there's large duplexes. These ones are kind of interesting, but they're hard to understand exactly what's going on here, what's for sale. Is it one duplex for 915? Is it two duplexes? Uh, the listing hasn't really helped me out on that too much, um, but I do know that it is a solid looking uh, construction investment. Could be something we could look at together, but may not be the right fit for what you're looking for on your return requirement even as I kind of scroll through this, okay? So that's MLS. It's typically a million to 2 million, maybe up to four or 5 million uh, that you would see properties listed here. Uh, nothing that I'm seeing here that's new. Um, even when we would take a look here and go back to um, everything that is, let's see if I can do this. Let's go last 30 days. Um, and then we want to also look at, so we've got in the last 30 days, there's 15 new properties that are available. How many of those have actually gone under contracts? So remember, we're at 15 and now we're at 19. So in the last 30 days, at least four of those are already under contract, um, which is kind of interesting in and of itself. Uh, this is my property here, which is available and active. Uh, definitely you take a look at that one. That's relatively new. Uh, eight units for 590. Let's dive into that together, of course. Um, so you can see there's not a ton of activity and the good stuff does go quickly. The stuff that's well-priced will go quickly, okay? Now let's go ahead and move over to LoopNet, which is the commercial uh, listing service. It's very popular, powered by CoStar, which is one of the largest data providers in the US. Um, and we can look here, see what's new in the last seven days. We have a 29 unit apartment building, Brentwood Plaza, it's unpriced. Um, reach out to the broker, be happy to do that and kind of see what price they're needing for these. Um, typically when it's unpriced, they, they say it's market, which means it's more of an auction style environment, uh, not conducive for my clients. They need to know price, need to go in there and take a look to see what it's actually listed for. Sure, you could always ask for highest and best, uh, it is in a great location. It's a lot of studios, a lot of one bedrooms. Um, so we're seeing a little activity here on the market, but nothing that is mind blowing, nothing that's crazy good or crazy bad. Um, we've seen a little bit of slowdown on new stuff coming on there. We, however, have two new listings. We talked about already. We got the Ravina Road listing, which is eight units. And then we have Mini Street, which is seven units. Those two are excellent listings for anybody who's in the under million dollar range for two different reasons. Um, if you're an active real estate investor in the Kansas City market or you're on a 1031 exchange, we can find replacement properties, not only with our listings, but with access to our off market uh, deals that we have. And um, it's a, a great time of year to actually buy. Interest rates are still high in some people's minds. Competition's low. So let's dive deep into these numbers. Let's see how they look. Federal Reserve is actually slated to cut interest rates uh, at least a couple of times this year. We'll see what happens. Uh, but fingers crossed. So now is a good time to buy. You can buy, you can refinance, and you can also 1031 exchange uh, depending on how everything goes within your business plan. So let's take a look. This is Alex Olson with Exchange Commercial Real Estate, multifamily broker here in Kansas City. I do look forward to hearing your feedback. And until next time, we'll see you again soon.